welcome back to my channel so today miss girl um i haven't worn makeup in months so this is awkward for me you know um but today miss girl yeah i know y'all didn't think y'all was gonna get away with doing latte makeup without involving the full glam brown smoky eye queen herself i know y'all didn't think y'all was gonna do that so without further ado let's get into it <laughs> I went ahead i did my brows off camera um i'm also gonna be filming tiktoks for this look so y'all make sure that you add me right here at the erica daniel on tiktok if y'all want to see the tiktoks so what this latte look is all about is uber sexiness um that's literally my brand at this point if i don't give nothing else i'm gonna give sex i'm gonna give full glam the girls girl the girls that want to give the gaze yeah the girls want to talk about cunt you look no further literally that's what my makeup style gives um you know period <laughs> um so for today's look we're going in with the brand new patrick ta major dimension matte eyeshadow palette isn't she beautiful here in all of her glory um yeah it has like all the beautiful latte coffee colors um and that's what we are going for it has a beautiful mirror on the inside of course i'm not gonna damage that mirror okay so this is what she looks like let me see if i can get my camera to focus um these are like the gel pomade colors over here it has a black one and a brown one we're going to be utilizing those a lot so it's a mix of warm and cool tones which is great for this latte look because um i like to blow my shadows out with a lot of um a lot of um more cooler tones so this look is really is really how do i say this without sounding too um cut like <laughs> um it's a really simple look these latte makeup looks um okay so we're gonna go in with my crusted and disgusted p louise base i love this shit this is why it's disgusting but you know I ain't buying a new one to this one broke. So this one is actually the color, I hope four. No, it's number two. But it still gets the job done. Um, and I'm going to bring y'all in a little bit closer so you can actually see what the fuck is going on in here. If you like the lashes, let me know. I have a tutorial coming on them. Um, I did them myself. So I have that video coming for y'all so you can look this good. Okay. So yeah, this is rumor base two from p louise just a little bit you can also use your favorite concealer but because i'm feeling extra today i haven't done my makeup in months guys um i wanted to go in with my p louise base i never get to use them so yeah so now we're gonna take um you want to go in with a domed eyeshadow brush one like this this one is from real techniques and you want to blend this bad boy all the way out i'm sorry i did not cut off box burgers if you ever want to know what does Erica do when she's doing her makeup and stuff, I watch Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Even when I'm not doing my makeup, bitch, I'm watching Bob's Burgers, you know? Uh, I'm trying to get at my content creator bag right now, guys. So bear the fuck with me. Um, I hope this palette is really brown girl friendly. Um, the shades aren't too, too rich. So, you know, we're going to see how much depth we can actually get from her, okay? So once you get this blended out to a nice blank canvas to work from, you're good. So about to there. Why do you want to misbehave and get in my eye? The key to this look is a lot of matte shadows, snatched face. You know, literally my go-to makeup style anyway. Like we're just giving this stuff a new name. So if we want to give it a new name... And the girls when they like the same stuff that we've done before, whatever cool also have a video that I just filmed prior to this one on strawberry makeup. What's next? Raspberry, grapefruit, <laughs> raspberry, grape, chili, come and get this honey bun. <laughs> if you don't know where that's from, baby, you too young to be on this channel. You too young. You too young to be on this channel if you don't know who that was. You too young. And 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 and, and, and in the instance that I sung the damn song wrong. Keep it to yourself. Because I don't want to hear it. But I'm pretty sure that's right though. Raspberry, grape cherry, come and get this honey bun. 
I got 32 flavors of this woo delicious bubble gum. Yeah, I said that shit right. <laughs> Raspberry. Come and get it. Okay. All right. So, my baby don't mess around. Um, so now we're gonna go in with the actual Patrick Todd palette. So we got this beautiful chocolate color right here. Um, what's 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 her name right here? Her name, I think I think it goes from left to right on the back of the palette like this. So I think this is the name here. Um, it's the color mandatory. So I'm gonna take it on a flat brush. I'm gonna bring y'all even closer into my personal space. And I'm just getting some of the products. All right, so on that flat brush, I also use this brush to carve out my brows with. Um, with these beautiful, warm looks like this, you really don't need a whole lot of brushes. Um, you know, it really just depends on how much you're really trying to give. But for, you know, that smokiness, that warmness, the blendness of, a, of an actual cappuccino, actually of a latte, you want to think about it. You know, you have your cold foam on the top. You know what I'm saying? This is your coffee cup. You have a cold phone on the side. Then you have your coffee. Um, it's really nice and blended. So that's the latte look that I'm going for, which is really my everyday look. So um, I guess this is an in-depth tutorial on that. Like, I do this look all the time, like I said. Um, so we're going to take this, and we are... Ooh, she's rich, honey. Cunt. Okay. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I love this. I love this so much. This is my first time using this palette. Like I said, it's brand new. It's brand new. She's hot. She's a moment. So I'm just applying this right up above my natural crease, right? It looks like this. And I'm just tapping this into perfection. That, my dear, cut. Beautiful. Look at that so tea and it has this little um i didn't show you guys um the palette has this little um flip lid to help keep these creams safe and protected because patrick todd knows a bitch like me does some damage to a nice clean palette um and i guess it always helps to keep the product moist um they're really pigmented. They're super nice. Look at that glide. Um, I'm just going to grab another little flat brush here just so I can show you guys the black. I'm actually going to do it on an angle brush because I'm going to use it later on my um, waterline as well. So we're just going to take a... I'm actually going to go with this angle. No, I don't need this brush. Where is my, my Mama Mitchell angle brush at? You can never find what you're looking for when you're looking for it. Like jeez i can't find this i'm going with this wet and wild one instead it's super nice it's flat it's synthetic y'all know the dollar wet and wild brushes um and i'm just going to kind of like give y'all a little demonstration of the black bitch that's black oh my god that's so nice and look at that little swatch how much that pays off and look at it's just this is this is this is getting nice. This is getting nice. So my mama's not on TikTok, y'all. My mama does Pinterest, but she get you know TikToks be everywhere. My mama be sending me TikToks off of Pinterest. Girl, let's get your ass on TikTok. <laughs> Cause I'm always sending her. T I literally have to text her TikToks. Like, ma'am. Pinterest is the only social media my mom has. But I remember my very first time, like, my post got stolen. Like, this was, like, back when I first started doing makeup. I went, like, viral on Snapchat and shit. She was like, this girl is just like you. Bitch, because it's me. <laughs> okay, so I definitely got a little bit too much on this eye. A little bit goes such a long way. Like, it's going to take me some time to blend out that one. Um, let me see if I can just steal. Put it over here. This is giving cunt. I love this. Oh my god. I am a happy, 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 happy girl. Alright, so this is a Japonique 712 brush. And it has kind of like an angle on it, if you can see that. Um, this is it. And it has like this little angle side here to it. So I'm going in with this side like this. That way that rounded edge can go ahead and blend out those edges for me. And soften this up up in here. 
and it doesn't take much. I actually love using this one for nose contour and I'm still going to use this for my nose contour because this is about the color that I use for nose contour. Um, so like I said, you don't have to pull out every brush in your collection to do this. So as you can see, I'm just working this product in, feathering those edges out. And the more it blends out, it's it's drawing down to a cooler color, which I'm okay with, um, because it'll give depth depth to the look itself. Um, so yeah, this is fucking cut. I'm feeling it. I like it. I feel like falling in love. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. Tonight I'm fucking something. I need some drink in my... I need a drink. drink. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. I wanna go missing. I need a prescription. I wanna go higher. Can I say I'm something young? Alright. So now we're gonna go in with this color right here. Um, Number three. What color is this number three right here? Needed. It's a lighter brown. And we're going to take it on a Morphe M504. Morphe M504 brush. Oh, pigment. Pigment, babe. Pigment. Um, it's very flesh colored, which is okay. Um, I'm not mad at it. I'm going to pack that on and fluff her out. This is our transition color. And we're literally just going right up above where we stopped that blend of the cream base front at. And we're taking this all the way up to the brow bone. Now you could absolutely do this with a much more reasonable palette. The um, Jaclyn Hills nude palette that I use almost every single day can do this for you as well if you don't want to spend seventy dollars on a palette but if you are looking to spend some money and get something new i would recommend this so far i like this palette i like it a lot um you know i'm a sucker for a, a new neutral palette um it's just it's just something about it like and this is nice the formula is nice the color range is there and I like the colors because you can use this for so many things. Like, um, kind of like the Danessa Myris palette. I wanted that palette, but it sold out everywhere. So, <sighs> I like my Hunter's Blue. Bad bitches. This is the difference between me, you, and you. Bitches ain't batting like me. Who the fuck better than me? I need to do a look inspired by the queen because she has been in her fucking bag lately. You know. I was trying to hold you tight and the last time that I saw you. I wish I didn't wait for us this time the night that I called you. Starlight, red Alright, so. Now we're going to go in with a more compact brush. Um, this is a Beauty Treats 243 Crease Blender Brush. It looks kind of like the Japanese brush, except um, as you can see, this is it. Um, it's, it's just a lot more dense. There's no angle to it. It's just nice and fine to actually fit right in that crease, that eye socket. And we're going to go in with um, this color right here, right beside the cream color. It's the color Classic. Uh, let me see what it's given on its own. Okay, these are really close together. This is where I literally just apply. Um, let's see. Okay, it looks like it's close, but it's actually perfect. It's actually a really nice color. And we're going to pop that right on that crease line exactly where we initially drew and packed that um, chocolate base down at.
And we're gonna really take our time, pack it on, and go ahead and smoke out that crease. Sometimes I like to work reverse like this. Um, especially when I go on with a tinted color base. Um, I just find that it just gives me a more smokier and more beautiful blend, honestly. Um, since, you know, I wanted to take it up a notch from our regular everyday brown smoky eye. If this is my regular brown everyday smoky eye, this would be it. I would just pack this all over the lid and call it a mother loving day. But because we're giving more glam, you know, we're giving the girls eye, we're giving full glam. Of course, we're gonna smoke this out even more. So we're just giving this right all the way, all over our entire crease. Okay, so now we're going to take it up a little bit more, okay? So we're going to mix classic and this taupey black looking color right here. This very neutral brown. Um, this is in the color Essential. Okay, so we're going to mix classic and essential. It's essentially classic if you might. Um, and this is what we're going to focus on, that outer edge of our eye. Um, i got to be in a real mood to do black. I'm not in the mood to do black. Who knows? I might put a little black back there. It ain't, it ain't nothing but a thing, you know. I ain't got, I ain't got shit to do today. But just that, can you see? Look at that depth already that is building on the outside of my eye. Like, that's so pretty. And I'm literally working it no further than the white of my eye right here. You see that? That's as far as I'm gonna take it. Just for like reference on placement, if you're following along or if you're doing a look similar. So just right there on the out edge of the eye. All right, so now, same brush. I'm going to go with a little bit of black because I do feel like doing it, actually. Just a little bit, y'all. know I don't really play when it comes to black eyeshadow. She can be dangerous if it's not done pro properly, you know. There's nothing that I hate more than a black, smoky eye. Not executed properly. It, it, it really grinds my gears. It really upsets me. So... It's on the very tip of the brush, as you can see here, and I'm just going to smoke it out. And look how pigmented that is. Like, girl. Okay. So we're going to feather it upward and into that crease. But as you can see, I drew that wing, and I'm just feathering it upward. I'm not smoking it, kind of like I did those other two colors where I went in here. I'm just taking it out and then brushing it up. So it gives that gradual build all around the outside. Don't worry about down here. We're going to clean that up. You know what I mean? But you just want to make sure that that edge is there. And if, you know, you feel like you got a little messy, that's okay. So go back in with a little bit of classic. Um, and then just tap and blend that out. You see that? So you still get that definition, that smokiness. Let me lower the lash so you can really see. So, yeah. All right. So this is what we look like right now. And now we're going to go ahead and cut the crease. Um, for my crease today, I'm taking my P. Louise blank canvas. The Icon Parcel. This is like the best product you can do for a blank cut crease. Um, so I'm just going to take a small smidgen on my hand. I do mean small. This is even too much. Like, that's too much. Um... I'm going to put it back down here in my little container of P. Louise Madness. And I'm just going to work this product onto a flat synthetic brush here. This brush has been in my kit for years. I want to say it's a MAC flat, large flat concealer brush. But honestly, it could be Sigma. It could be Morphe. I really, I, I have no clue. But honestly, the, the grip of it, the thickness of it, it's given MAC. But I, I wouldn't even be able to give y'all no exact number. But just a large flat concealer brush. Um, on the low end, you can get them from Wet n Wild. Like, seriously. Um, but for some reason, the stores aren't carrying the Wet n Wild brushes anymore. <laughs> what the fuck is up with that? Because if it's one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up a couple of them $1 brushes. Because you can always use them. Especially a bitch like me don't only want to wash makeup brushes once a quarter. That's how I got literally 
over 500 makeup brushes in my collection. Like, takes me two days. Uh, well, not two days. Well, two days if I'm lazy. It takes me a day to wash all these things. Like, bring back the one dollar brushes. Bring back the makeup brush sets that after Christmas they go 50% off to five and ten dollars a box for ten and twenty brushes. Bring it back. Bring it back. So we're gonna cut our crease now. I'm sorry, I'm talking a lot. Um. You just want to get some product down and then you want to stamp it on. If you have really hooded eyes, um, you can take it a little bit above your natural crease. Um, that way you don't lose any color payoff in this process, okay? Um, yeah. Alright, so with our creases cut, you should look something like this. So now is when you can go in and really detail out. I broke my brush in the process, so bear with me. Um, but now is when you can really go in and detail out. I'll add more detail to different parts of your look. So I'm going to go in. And you can really customize this to your liking. So I'm taking classic and I'm taking just a wee little bit of essential, which is the darkest chocolate warm brown in the black color. It looks like this on my brush. And I'm just going to go in and hit these edges really quickly. Just the top of that crease because I really want that definition to be right there. And then I'm going to go back with my Morphe brush with the classic color. And then I'm just going to soften all of that up. Like all of it. The edges of my cut crease right here because I don't want it sharp. You don't want it sharp. This is supposed to be a really sultry look, you know. Um, so just to dull down those edges a wee bit, you know, if you're feeling spicy, you could add like some chrome or some gold flakes or some glitter to the crease. You could do all, you can do all those things. Like this is really the blueprint for it, you know? Um, so I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush now. Any old flat brush will do. Um, this is just a synthetic flat brush. And we're going to take the color Trademark. <laughs> the names on this palette is cunt. I live. Um, trademark is this uh, warm blank canvas type color. No surprise there. I'm going to apply this on the back half of our cut crease. So basically where like the center of my eye is. And we're going to overlap it with that blend that we just did. Then I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to flip it over on the clean side. Once you flip it over on the clean side. And like I said, customize this to your liking. If you want a super white lid, go in with the lightest color. Don't do a transition color like I just did. Um, I'm going to mix these two lightest colors. So you got the palest white at the bottom. And then you have one that's a slightly bit warmer. Um, so the, the color non-negotiable and impressive. I love these names. Like, God, I love them. So we're just going to mix them together slightly. It looks like this. And we're going to pop that on the inner corner and overlap it with the color that we just applied. My brain is so fried, I don't even remember the colors just now. So, watching in slow motion if you need to. Or just know that you take the lighter color, overlap it with the darker color. Take the darker color, overlap it with the even darker color. Come back in and buff it out. And notice how I'm literally taking this one fluffy Morphe M504 brush. And I'm literally dusting over my whole eye. Like work it all in together babe no more product is added to the brush no more product is on the eye this is literally just to fluff everything back together give it a really nice soft effect now if you feel like you lost something like I feel like I've lost the lightness of it all so I'm just going to go back with my brush no extra product and I'm just tapping it on over everything and I'm alternating on both sides of my brush here so just back and forth just to really just like keep my shape of everything. And this is what it looks like. You see that? It's giving real cocoa mommy. That's my liner. This would eat if you want the smoke your liner out all the way. Am I going to do that? No. I'm not. I'm not going to do that but I am going to come in and line my inner corner. I have really like, um, I don't know what you call my eye shape, but I envy the girls that can do the really nice, sharp cat eye 
feline eye. Oh my god, I can never do it. I just look like fucking Buffy the Vampire Slayer bitch. Like I can't do it. But I think it's so hot. This would eat with one of those liner looks as well. I'm not gonna do it because I feel like it looks like shit on me. It just looks like I just fucked up my eyeliner. <laughs> All right, so this is my e.l.f. Halo Glow. I went ahead and I just um, did this wing. And I applied uh, my primer step off camera. And then this is just my e.l.f. Halo Glow. Halo Glow. Jesus. Um, that I'm applying now. And I just sporadically apply this all over my face. Just gives me a nice even base to work off of when I get ready to apply my foundation. And also just look how good it looks. Like. I feel like. The, the proof is in the motherfucking pudding you know what i'm saying like it's eating the girls up just do just just do what i say just do, just do what i do not what i say okay however however you know they say that however the shit though y'all already know what i'm trying to damn say you look like this and so for foundation today i want to use my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation because i want to look flawless wake up round around in there bossed up in there my diamond this diamond my rock that rock baby i woke up like this i woke up like this uh ladies tell them say i look so good tonight god Oh, Nika. Uh, like MJ Zaza. They killing me. Proper fall. I know they hope I fall. But tell them when and this my motherfucking protocol. Because I score before I even throw the ball. What? <laughs> so, put your foundation on. <laughs> so now we're going in with my very first concealer. Um, this one that we use today is the Juvia Slice Concealer in the color 13. <laughs> I'm going to say this again for those of you that are new here. Um, I've really been trying to train my Southern accent to turn into more of a New York, New Jersey accent. I'm really working on it really hard. Like, it sounds different every day. A lot of times Carolina still come out of me. You know, it seems me not on me, unfortunately. <laughs> so it's really hard trying to conceal it. And um, if you have any tips, if you're from New York, um, and, you know, let a bitch know. Because I just think I would be so hot with a New York accent. Really, truly. Um, you know, yeah. I feel like that's just, it just looks like me. Um, I'm not going for luxury anymore. Luxury is so played out. Like, everyone is giving luxury. Luxury this, luxury that. Hell, even niggas be hollering they luxury. Like... I don't want to. I don't want to exude luxury. I want to exude. I step above luxury. Like, I'm. I'm giving opulence. You know. Like I'm talking, 80s glam, 90s cunt. Like, you know. Yeah, that's like my vibe right now. I really don't care about your opinion on that. Um, is it unrealistic? Yes, I know that. Is it? Uh, 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 another universe of delusion yes it is I, I, I know that I know that um, but it's my vibe you know? and you can do with that what you want because that's where I'm at you can stay here with your mediocre world on this mediocre ass planet but me my darling this is a whole nother universe over here we're in a, we're in a lane of our own okay You do what you want with that information. Alright, so my second concealer, guys, is the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer in the number um, Y1. Um, this is to give me my uber under eye. This is the cold foam on top, if you will. Like, look how instant, look how, my, look how good my base looks. Like, when I get to this part of my makeup, I know, I know that we finna motherfucking... Ugh. I don't know if y'all hungry, but baby, you finna leave on a full motherfucker's full meat. When I get right here, girl, this is, this, all that other shit was like the entree. No, the appetizer, excuse me. That, this, this right here is the entree, you know. 
And you know, I can't get y'all dessert. You know, my man would probably be upset about that. But you know, I can give y'all a cocktail when we finish. <laughs> so we're gonna blend this off my um, original beauty blender. Um, I told y'all about the black beauty blenders and bitch now I can't get one. Every motherfucking store sold out. So I had to order it and you know. So hopefully it gets here pretty quick. Um, I did order a new foundation to review for you guys. Um, it's the new Ariana Grande Rim Beauty Foundation. Um, I read good things. So I'm excited. Um, I haven't reviewed a foundation in a minute. Um, I'm ex also excited because this is going to be my first product from Rare Beauty. Not, excuse me. <laughs> Selena, <laughs> what are you doing here? Um, but yeah, um, nothing against Ariana. I love Ariana Grande. Um, it's just the brand didn't really seem appealing. Like the all the silver and the galactic vibe to me, almost it just didn't. Nothing really screamed buy me, buy me, buy. Like it was, it was kind of boring if I'm being quite frank. But the new foundation I'm excited about. It's a medium buildable coverage. Um, so be on the lookout for that as soon as it gets here um as soon as i get it i will let you know if you should get it um you know so anyway look at that look at that look at that off with the heads because bitches is nobody taking it oh, okay so we're gonna go in after my holy girl powder this is the laura mercier translucent honey on my tati beauty puff my favorite puff you can use other puffs. I have disposable puffs, but these just are these just are the girls' girl. Like these. Listen, um, I have you know the the I have these. You know they're they're cool. You know, but what you want to invest in, Miss Girl, is one of these. Um, this is a cheaper one. I believe this one came from like Walgreens. These came in like a pack of like two or three. This was like six dollars, but. They don't last as long as Tati. I've had Tati since the day that this dropped. Understand me? And I wash it and she's just good. She's just she's she takes it, you know? Like she 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 never betrays me. So, you know, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna set the face. And now we're going in with our blush. This is the what volume is this? Blush volume five from Juvia's. And we're taking that top rich pink color and we're applying that to the top portion of our cheekbones, right? This is like the best blush combination I've ever created. Like, it's just her. Um, so now I like to take the volume, what is this, two, three, four? One of them. Um, four. And then we want to take this baby doll color. Load up on that. Looks like that right you know how you always know how i take a the one side and then i have the clean side I take this on the clean side so i can go back and forth and blend with the other side if you didn't know why i do that it's not just because i hate messing up a bunch of brushes but it's, it's there's 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 a there's methods to my madness okay so now you want to take this from the front part that you left blank and blend that upward like so look how pretty and soft and innocent you look like a real doll like <laughs> When people call me a doll, I'd be like, I know. I literally have a whole video on, like, doll face makeup. Like, I, I, I look like a breast doll. <laughs> you don't say. Oh, my God. You look like a doll, babe. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> I know that. And it's all in my two-tone blush technique. <laughs> so, now we're going to go ahead and smoke out our under eye. So, because I did black eyeliner i want to do a really chocolate under eye so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a concoction here and i'm taking a lot of brown and just a smidge of black just to intensify this color right oh that black is black though oh lord okay okay hold on now okay that black is black so i gotta take a little bit more brown than i expected i probably should start off with black brace and then warmed it up with the brown but this is cool so i'm just making this color in my hand make this really dark truffle color that's what I'm going for just to kind of like give you something to like notice is different but you also can't put it piece it together you know what I mean so we're gonna go in and really color that waterline the whole thing and it's okay if it touches the backboard back there because we're gonna smoke it out anyway
see how hot that looks already like oh my god y'all and i will say this you want to work kind of quick okay this stuff dries and it dries like matte as hell now we're going to um smoke it out with the essential i think this was essential this dark must looking color here so this is what we look like all smoked out it literally looks like i just smoked like i poked myself in the eye so hard and then not only did i do it on this side i did it on that side too. so that's why i look crazy but what's a nude look without a good nude lip so let's cook up something in the lab right quick i'm gonna take my favorite lip liner in the world um So for the actual lip, this is the Makeup by Mario Nude Suede um, Lipstick. Alright y'all, this is the final product. So I did go in and add a little bit of black under my eye just because I felt like the eyes ended up pulling so cool. Um, I just felt like I needed to. I feel like I just needed, my face was just missing that little bit of balance. So that's what we did. We just added some black underneath, but it's still giving very much latte makeup. So let me know what y'all think down below and other looks or trends you want me to do and i'll see y'all in my next video okay oh um and i did put a little bit of gloss on this is the this is like my favorite gloss in the whole world right now this is the mac lip glass in the color see-through so Oh, I got that shit on. Walk away, diddy. Yo, ass that hell on. My nigga in the cut making plays on his iPhone. And I don't bring shit to the table but an iPhone and lip gloss. I'll see y'all in my next video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my social platforms. Love ya.